we are again. And here is the Super NT. I started with the Mega SG and then moved to the Retro USB AVS. I'm really liking these FPGA consoles. So let's open this baby up. Okay, so we've got the console. This is the Famicom version. As you can see, once again, it looks very similar in size to the uh, Mega SG. It's well built, as you would expect. Let's put it side by side for comparison. The FPGA consoles look good together. I gotta give them that. And. The Super NT is a little bit smaller than the Mega SG. Pretty nice. So looking through the box, we also have this smaller box. Let's see what we got in there. My guess is we've got a power brick. There we are. Power and HDMI cables. Yep, USB, power, and very nice HDMI analog cables. Oh, and a manual. You can't forget the manual. Okay, let's power this bad boy up and see what she does. Fortunately, I already have this 8 bit do controller and the retro receiver. Hindsight, probably should have gotten the Super Famicom colors. And of course, every Super NT comes with the Turrican Director's Cut box. The game's included digitally. But we have the box. That is promptly going to go up on display. Okay, it looks like I need to update this thing. Because it's only at 4.5. And it's dated March 25th, 2018. I know there's something newer than that. So let's move ahead with that. To update it, you just simply put the binary file for the firmware on an SD card and then place the SD card in the system. The system will then, you then turn on the system, it'll update, and then you're ready to play. Big Apple, 3 a.m.